Hey guys, Brooksy Tech here, and today I wanted to do a overview of a motherboard I just picked up for a home server build kind of upgrade I'm doing. This is the uh, X570 Phantom Gaming 4 by ASRock. It's kind of an entry level X570 motherboard, but great for um, you know, like kind of a home server build or gaming build, uh, especially if you're on a budget. Um, I picked this up for a great deal on eBay, actually. It was a used board for about $90 shipped. Um, so definitely good deals to be had if you're patient. Um, the only thing that didn't come with that I need is the IO shield, but I'm pretty sure I can get one from ASRock for uh, just a few dollars. So first, let's take a look at the box here. So just kind of have the um, logo and name here. I guess it's got some RGB sync, HDMI, uh, Ryzen, uh, AMD Ryzen 3000 ready. And then kind of here on the side, we got the, the name again and the logos along with the serial number and a product number. And then uh, back here, just some more writing. Um, you know, we'll begin with the, the title. Uh, same on this side as well, that side. And then here on the back cover, um, Kind of going over um, there's a picture of the motherboard the uh, rear io panel with the, the um, usb 3.2 uh, most of them are gen 1 there is the uh, two gen 2 slots along with the uh, audio ports and i, I believe that's an intel LAN. Uh, supports ryzen 2000 and 3000 series processors um, it might support like the 1600 af with a later bios revision i know it's a pretty popular chip um, there's just some more specifications and then uh, dual hyper m.2 for ssd pretty standard for an x570 or two usb 3.2 uh, ports uh, intel lan m.2 key e for wi-fi if you want to add like an m.2 wi-fi card uh, just you know kind of some super alloy branding nothing too crazy you know all the motherboard makers kind of put that on there along with the steel pci express 4.0 slot um, uh, double XL aluminum alloy heat and sink and then the uh, polychrome RGB but now let's uh, take a look at the motherboard itself um, and there is one specific reason why this motherboard kind of attracted my attention let's see if you guys can guess before I uh, point it out but uh, first let's start kind of on the side um, again so here's a, again what the actual ports look like so you have your PS2 uh, your USB 3.1 uh, Gen uh, Gen 1 ports, um, and then your Gen 2 ports, uh, just two of those, but most of them are the, the Gen 1. Uh, DisplayPort HDMI if you're using a Ryzen chip or uh, AMD AM4 chip that has uh, the integrated graphics. That is one complaint I kind of have with the, the Ryzen chips is most of them don't have even just some kind of basic um, GPU support like a lot of the Intel chips. Um, then we've got this pretty beefy ASRock uh, heat sink and then kind of going over um, there's the uh, PCI Express. Um, this is your full 16x slot for like a video card and then you have the uh, M.2 slot. I think I'm pretty sure these run uh, full PCI Express uh, 4.0 so if you spend the money for the expensive uh, NVMEs, you're gonna um, get some good speeds out of those. And then you have the uh, PCI Express 1X slots, and then another 16X slot. This one I think only runs at 4X. Uh, also depends on what Ryzen chip you're using, like what generation, um, versus 2000 versus 3000, and you know, the 4000 chips. As Zen 3, when those come out, those might actually have some more lanes as well. But if you'll notice, these PCI Express 1X uh, slots are cut or well not cut but they're left open which is a huge draw for me because I have a bunch of kind of older hardware cards that I'm going to be running with this that are like a 4x or an 8x so that saves me from having to like kind of cut or use like a soldering iron to melt that um, but anyway so yeah so those are there and then we have some uh, just some chips and the audio kind of down here I believe that's the front panel audio yeah, and then uh, TPMS, um, and then you have like, a, it's probably a COM port, um, the RGB, 12 volt and five volt, um, one of each, and then a fan header, USB 3.0, uh, 
and then this should be a USB 2.0, and then probably your front panel uh, audio there, yeah, HD, and then you have, one nice thing about this one is if you have a lot of drives, this actually has eight SATA ports. You have two here, and you're gonna have six more uh, right here. So if you have a lot of drives or optical drives, that's definitely nice. Um, and then you have, you know, you're again your two uh, NVMe uh, slots, and then there's the M.2 if you have a Wi-Fi. I believe there's actually a Wi-Fi version of this board that comes with the Wi-Fi card. Mine did not, um, but you could pick these up on eBay pretty cheap, even one that has like AC and Bluetooth combo. So I'll probably pick one up just so I have the Bluetooth, like if I want to connect um, like a controller or something. And then going back up the side again, so the other SATA ports, um, another fan, and then you have your chipset fan. Hopefully that's not too loud. I know that some of these X570 boards can be pretty loud. Um, another USB uh, 3.0 front panel header, um, your 24 pin um, power supply connector. We have our uh, DDR4 uh, dual channel RAM slots. So I believe it goes two and two. I'd have to double check the manual, but um, I'm gonna be running four uh, memory slots. And I'll do a different video kind of on my server build. Uh, then you have your AM4 socket, pretty standard there. Um, and then just a single eight pin instead of like the eight plus four that you've seen on kind of some higher end motherboards. Uh, looks like just the BIOS version 2.2 uh, is what comes with it, but I'll definitely upgrade that. Another fan connector here. I um, wish I had a few more fan connectors. I'm definitely gonna have to get some splitters for my needs, but um, you know, for a cheap motherboard, can't complain too much. But yeah, kind of just do some sweeping shots over it. Uh, if you guys have any more questions about this motherboard, uh, let me know and make sure to I'll leave a comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more content, especially if you want to check out the server build. I will be doing this. I have a Ryzen chip on the way and uh, some RAM, so it should be a good, good build to follow and lots of fun. All right, thanks for checking this video out. Bye.